Ryan Pincy with Mark Krikori and the head soccer coach here at Florida State. And coach, it all gets started tomorrow, practice starting for uh, this year's campaign. What are you most looking forward to this season? Well, you know, it's always fun when the players come back to town and we get a chance to, um, you know, start to focus on building the team and, um, you know, preparation for the first games and then, uh, of course, for the ACC uh, ACC schedule. So we have a pretty good uh, out-of-conference schedule and then, of course, playing the ACC is uh, just great competition for us. Coach Corian, you're coming off of a national championship appearance. How is that going to help this team growing and building to attain that ultimate goal of winning a national championship? Well, we have a number of um, returning players uh, from last year's team that uh, hope uh, hopefully will uh, make a nucleus for us uh, um, and help prepare the younger players for what we're in store for through the, the balance of the season. But, you know, each of those experiences that we have are important for us to, to grow with and uh, to learn from. And um, if, uh, if we learn our lessons properly, hopefully we can get ourselves back in the national championship game again. What are some of the strengths that you definitely have noticed going into your fall camp? Well, I think that we're going to have a very talented team, um, many new pieces, um, many of which are, are uh, very good soccer players. Uh, but, you know, anytime you're starting a new team, you don't really know how all the different uh, pieces fit together. So it will take us a little while to figure out uh, the best approach to take and putting the best people in the in the best spots and uh, recognizing that we have some good depth in this year's team. So... Um, I think that uh, we're, we're not hurting for talent. It's more a matter of uh, us figuring out how to best use all the talent. Do you have any position battles that right now going into the fall camp that you're really looking forward to seeing who that best player is that steps up? I think that we're going to have big competition in many spots where in the past it was much more clear to the, to our staff that you know, okay, these were going to be our back players and they'd probably start, and these were going to be our midfield players and they'd probably start, and our forwards were typically obvious uh, going into the season. But that's not something we lo we're looking at going in this year. I think we have a lot of weapons that can be used in many different positions, which will make it quite interesting for us to be able to try and put the, uh, the pieces of the puzzle together. One of your assistant coaches, Paul Rogers, has an opportunity to be over in Beijing, China for the Olympic Games. His assistant coach with the Canadian team. Have you spoken with him? And if you have, what are his experience like so far? I actually just got off the phone with him, and he's having a great experience. Uh, he says it's, they're kind of in lockdown. Uh, the Olympic Village is uh, very tight security, and uh, their prep, uh, preparation is uh, going well, and they open up tomorrow. The U.S. team also opens up tomorrow, so... Uh, for the world of women's soccer in the Olympics. Tomorrow's a big day as the, the start of the Olympic Games. Coach, when you look ahead to later this month in your first game against UCF, we've seen over the last few years that the crowds here at, at the soccer softball complex have been outstanding and really gives your team an added advantage. Do you look forward to that again this year? Absolutely. I mean, the, the community has embraced our team and our team has embraced the community and we're hopeful that uh, the, the folks will come out and support us as they have in the past. I think... I think in our, my three years here, we've lost two home games and uh, and won all the rest. So um, hopefully we can get the folks out and put a good product together and, and keep them coming back. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Look forward to sitting down and talking with you once the season gets started. Thanks, Ryan. Nice to speak with you.